Welcome back to my channel. In this video, I will be unboxing and reviewing the World Traveler in Morocco, released by American Girl. So, I wasn't planning on buying this just yet. I definitely was going to buy it, but um, I was visiting my closest American Girl store. I'm not going to say local. No, I have to drive like three hours to get to it. But my closest American Girl store with some friends and... Um, one of the, my friends, her doll was wearing this outfit. My other friend had a coupon, but that coupon didn't include dolls. And that's when I bought McKenna. And I'm like, ooh, I'm going to have to buy this outfit sooner than I thought. And so I just, I used that opportunity with the coupon, um, to purchase this. And I'm so happy I did. I have really, I really enjoyed this on my friend's doll. And I'm so excited to have my own now and try it out on one of my dolls. I've never been to Morocco, like in my last video with the Peru outfit. I've done two years of research to travel to Peru. Uh, Morocco is on my to-go list. I definitely am going to go someday, but I have no, really no idea about Morocco. So I can't say anything about the cultural accuracy of this outfit. I'm just going to be ooing and aahing over it, the color schemes and all of that good stuff. So we open it up. Um, so the first thing we have here is, uh, my friend called this the pirate hat. Um, I don't actually know what it is. Um, I wonder if the box says what it is. The box says it has one, it's a headscarf is what the box is calling. It's a headscarf. And I will try to figure out how to wear it. So this is obviously the cap of it. And then this is sort of the, goes around, I don't know. I will figure it out, but that's the headscarf. This is the top. This is a, I don't think it's a crop top. I, I'll look at it when I get it on the doll, but it's definitely shorter than, I guess, a traditional t-shirt from American Girl is. Um, it's solid blue, which is a great color. It'd be great for mixing and matching. So I'm really excited about that. And the pants, this was my favorite. Um, the pants, the color is just in your face. I love it. Um, this is stretchy. Yeah, this, this is a stretch elastic, so there's um, no but no uh, buttons to worry with. But I love this. Look at this. There are working belt loops. Those belt loops actually work. That's amazing. Um, the belt's coming up, I know. Um, Silica gel packet, of course. The shoes. So these are just sandals. They've got a clear elastic on the back to help keep it um, stationary, um, on the doll's foot. I really love these. I love that it's not trying to be a thong sandal, like the ones that have something between your toes. I like, I don't, I don't personally like wearing those, so it's great when my dolls don't have to do that either. Um, I think these are adorable. I think these also have great mix and match potential. Um, so I, I was another reason I liked this outfit. Um, we have a normal scarf. We have a normal scarf with a paisley print. There's that. And then we have the belt. <coughs> Excuse me. Oof. So this belt, um, it's pink. It's not quite the same pink as the headscarf, but it does closely match. I think it matches the thread of the headscarf, but not, not exactly the same, but it's definitely complementary. Um, it's in a, like color adjacent. I mean, but I would say, so all of these reddish pinkish colors, they're close to each other, but they're not exact. But I think that brings to the, you know, the charm of this outfit. It makes it more realistic. Um, so I, that's, I'm happy with that. This is a really just an easy working belt. Um, they've used this pattern before to make belts. This is a plastic clip that is painted to look gold, but it, it's just plastic. And last but not least, we've got the we've got the little brochure. Tells us all about it. So there's the outfit. So this is when I'm gonna have to figure out how to get that hat on. I do have the purse and the dessert treat desserts. Yes. So this almond, I like uh, Bayerat, Briorat. I am, that's not how to pronounce it, but I have the, I have that. Um, I do hope one day I will get to go to Morocco and visit. If I do and I take a doll, I'll definitely bring this outfit. Um, 
I would love to ride a camel. Um, I think that would be super cool. But again, um, I, this is like one of the only things I know about Morocco is that you have to be careful if you go on one of the camel rides. You want to make sure that the camels are well taken care of um, and that you're not supporting an organization that's being mean or harmful to your camels. So um, I do know that, but I'd love to go see all the spices. I'd love to taste all the delicious things and see all the colors. Ah, oh, it's going to be great. So that's the outfit. Um, so those are the pieces. I'm going to pause the video. I'm going to put Ivy in this outfit. No reason why. I, I think she's going to look good in it. Um, they, they've been promoting this with the dress mold. Um, I think this is number 84. So I know that it's going to look good in a dress mold, but this is going to be Ivy with some bangs. Um, I think just the newness of my Ivy is still there. So I'm excited. And so I'm going to pause and I'll be right back. Okay, here is my Ivy in the Morocco World Traveler outfit. Now I, I, this is me being true to who I am. I have no idea how to do scarves. That's why I don't wear them. I don't know how to do them. I'm, I'm struggling with, yeah, I think my friend was right. It does look like a pirate hat. Um, yeah, the pirate hat did not, did not happen the way I thought it was going to. I think I figured out what I'm supposed to do, but to actually make that happen, I'm not fully sure exactly how to make that happen. Um, I will say just as a warning, the scarf does come with a very large American Girl tag. There it is. And so part of my struggle with the scarf was trying to hide this tag, but also make it look halfway decent. I know I should just cut off the tag. Oops, there goes the purse. Um, hold on, the camera angle is going to be weird for a second as I grab this purse. Okay, there we go. Um, so I do have the purse and the dessert. I think they're a great addition. I think the this is definitely something I'd buy. I think this this whole I mean the outfit minus the scarf and the hat. I think I would wear. Um, I can get this on one handed. Um, so yeah, I I would definitely say the the scarf. Just be aware that it does have that big tag. Um, the purse is a great addition. It's hard for me to do it one-handed. This, this is why I pause the video when I dress my dolls. Um, I will say I do have one complaint. And it's not that it's such a minor thing, but I am going to complain about it anyway. Okay, so the belt. So I have two, well, I guess I have two complaints about the belt. The first is that this belt, the way it's designed, is that there's this top is mostly gold, but on the bottom. Whoa. Okay. Sorry, folks. I, <laughs> I, in my statement, I was trying to do this one-handed. I will eventually buy something so I don't have to hold this camera. Um, but I was trying to show you something and I hit the stop button by accident. And when I tried to restart it, <laughs> oh my goodness, Ivy fell over. All her scarves fell off. Her shoes fell off. Like it was, it was a mess. But anyway, um, so this is me starting in a weird spot again. So, okay, I'm not quite sure where I ended, so apologies if I'm saying something I've already said. My complaint is with the belt. It's really minor, but uh, this is the only thing I have to complain about. Um, on the bottom of the belt is, um, there's this little, sorry, there's this little black dot in the very middle of it that you don't see on the top, so it actually means the belt can only be worn one direction, and that might not be that big a deal to you but I think about you know if my doll is right-handed or left-handed which way would the belt be facing I know it's such a minor detail but just something to think about and then this um I think this is what I hate more is that so this is a beautiful pink belt and then it's got this raw edge here you can see the white inside so it's not that big a deal if I could ever find a marker color this exact color I'll color over it but other than that it's fine. The shoes, my wa Ivy is being wobbly because I've actually did not put the strap on her shoes, which is probably what I should have done, but I didn't. And here you go. Here's my Ivy. In there's her bag. The bag is kind of awkward. Um, like just it keeps falling off her shoulder. <laughs> I'm not sure why, but um, I think it's a great little addition. Um, and then the dessert. So yeah, there you go. There is my Ivy and the Morocco World Traveler outfit. Apologies for all the craziness, but... Oh, last thing. Um, yeah, so this shirt is slightly cropped. Um, those are her underwear. 
Most t-shirts American Girl makes go over the top of the underwear band. The other thing is her tag. Most shirts go over the full tag, but this doesn't even come down half of the tag. So um, it's kind of like a crop top, a, a small crop top with a high-waisted pant. So you, doesn't, you don't see the cropping effect, but if you're a mix and match person like I am, you now have a blue crop top. Um, piece to add to your collection. Okay, that's it. I promise I need to stop before I make any more crazy mistakes. Um, yeah, thank you for watching and I'll see you next time.